So we all use the search in Outlook, I don't know how many times in a day, many a times. And often spend a lot of time in getting the desired result, especially when the email that you're looking for are a bit old. Why is that? It's because we are not using the Outlook search in an effective way. Are we using Outlook search in an effective way? My simple answer for sure, including me, is not using the capability of Outlook search in the powerful manner. Outlook search is a very powerful feature and in which most of us are only using basic search criterions. And I have seen in many cases that people request others to forward a desired or forward an email to them because they are unable to find that email in the Outlook items. Let's see, how can we improve the search capabilities to get to the desired result in a quick manner? As we mentioned in most cases, we go and search for a phrase in the search bar and it will return based on the built-in algorithm that Microsoft Office or Microsoft Outlook has in it. Let's say for example, I'm searching for an email that contains Microsoft. Maybe in my mind, I want an email which is sent by a specific ID from Microsoft. If we specify that, then we will retrieve emails in which the Microsoft account that we specified there is either there in frame or in two or anywhere. It can be in CC or it can be in the body of the message because we are not specifically mentioning any part of the message. We rather use the search with some phrases in the search bar and Microsoft will use its intelligence or Outlook will use its built-in intelligence to find out the best result for you. And at times or many a times that you feel like, no, you're not receiving the result that you're really looking for. That's not because Outlook is not smart enough. It's because we are not using it in a smart way. In this case, I'm just, you know, adding phrases after phrases, which I feel it can narrow down my search, but not directing Outlook where to inject this. For example, do you want these phrases to be injected in the frame field or in the subject field and so forth? Outlook has given a very strong search bar wherein you can narrow your search to further down to ensure that you get the right result that you're looking for. For instance, that I want to search for an email that came from Microsoft. So I clicked on from and I entered the value there and I want to add some information. For example, the subject contains and you can keep on adding filter from the list available in the search ribbon like for example the categories sent to whom and then you can also filter with the timelines in this case it is set to this week you can change that and if you want to only search for the unread emails you can do that parameter there and so forth so let's take that current filter this is how it is constructed and for which you don't need any technical capability, you can just keep on clicking on the button available there and fill the information what is required. And if you have not taken a note of the filter, you can still see the recent search that we have made and you can do that again. It's kind of a memory, a temporary memory of the searches that we did and we can take a copy of it to just modify it in a notepad and keep adding conditions to make the search more narrow down to get the desired result. This is one such a query that I have created a search filter for narrowing down my search. And this article what I am showing you now contains a lot more parameters that you can use to create search filters to narrow down your search to get the desired result. I'll put it in the description. You can go through it and create the search filter to any extent so that you get the desired result.
still could not find the desired result? Then let's go for the advanced search option in Outlook, wherein you get a lot of options or a lot more options than the previous two and you can still drill down the search or narrow down the search to the extent what you can think of. It is important to set which area that you want to concentrate your search for example you want only the inbox or you want the whole mailbox set that where to look then start constructing your search so you can put all the available options there if this is not enough you can go to the next tab which is more choices or there is a third tab that is called the advanced options as you can see in the more choices tab you've got categories to choose from you've got to where it is and who sent it the timeline and all these you can construct the query to the extent that you can think in most cases uh, I am not going to explain it in detail these are self explanatory go through it and create your search filters and narrow down your search to get the desired result. For instance, you know that you are doing it right, but still you are not getting the result. That could be because the outlook indexing is not completed for some of the items. So if you are seeing any other digit other than zero, which means the outlook indexing is not completed and can lead to incomplete search results. So you must work on fixing the indexing issue first before you continue the search. It is also important to ensure that the defaults are set right. For anything there are some default settings that you need to keep an eye on all the time. So let us go to the search options and see what are the default settings currently set for your basic or you know filtered searches. Now for example the result should include what all things by default if you want to modify it you can do some changes here so that it will reflect on your search result from the Outlook search bar. Hope you will not ever say or ask somebody else to forward the email that reside in your mailbox. I am sure that you will use Outlook search feature in much more effective manner from now on. If it helped you, do not forget to subscribe the channel and also share this video to your friends so that they will also improve on their skills. So I think now it's time for us to wind up for today. We will come back again in another video very soon. Till then, bye.